Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video I'm going to be covering Savage Dragon. He made his first appearance in the self-titled Savage Dragon miniseries, issue number one in July of 1992. Now he's an alien Krylon male that stands approximately 6 feet 3 inches tall and it's guessed that he weighs about 450 pounds, having black eyes and no hair on his head but black body hair also possessing green scaly skin, similar to a dragon. Now his alien physiology gives him considerable superhuman strength, being able to lift around 34 to 35 tons. He has increased durability, being able to withstand most gunfire, being immune to physical fire, and being able to breathe underwater. He also has reasonably enhanced speed and agility, as well as a moderate healing factor that can allow him to regrow lost limbs and organs over time. Dragon is also acknowledged as being a skilled marksman and hand-to-hand -hand combatant. Now, Savage Dragon was originally shown being found in a burning field by Lieutenant Frank Darling. His mysterious appearance was out of nowhere, and it was during a time that Chicago was being terrorized by villainous super freaks, particularly the criminal organization known as the Vicious Circle that was being led by the Overlord. Lieutenant Darling quickly realized that the dragon's superpowers could be used to help the police fight superhuman criminals, and therefore he did his best to recruit Dragon to join them. Initially, Savage Dragon turns down the offer and takes up a job with Darling's cousin in a warehouse. But after several brutal attacks, including the murder of superhero Mighty Man and the mauling of Super Patriot, Lieutenant Darling takes an underhanded gamble to try to get Dragon to join them. He actually pays the vicious circle to threaten his own cousin, which was Dragon's friend and boss hoping that this would draw Dragon to the police force. This tactic works, but it's at a much bigger cost than was expected. The two circle villains Skullface and Hardware actually kill his cousin and set off a bomb in the warehouse. These events also lead to the lieutenant being blackmailed by the vicious circle, now being under their control and causing him to steer Dragon away from their activities. But despite all of this underlying drama, Savage Dragon loves his new job and shows himself to be fully committed. Over time, he's had multiple girlfriends and relationships, even being married to Jennifer Dragon, and having several children along the way as well, the most prominent of them being his son, Malcolm Dragon. He's had multiple team-ups with superheroes like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Wildstar, Spawn, The Max, Hellboy, and even made appearances within Mars Attacks storylines. Many years after his comic's release, Savage Dragon's true origin was revealed. It was disclosed that his real name was Emperor Kerr, and that he was an evil leader of a peaceful nomadic race of aliens that lived in a starship. They had spent many millennia searching the cosmos for a new homeworld when Kerr had chosen Earth. And although his people were peaceful, he wanted to destroy all humans. This led to two of his own scientists plotting against him and giving him brain damage that erased his memory. They replaced all of his memories with just five days of satellite TV broadcasts from Earth then leaving him on Earth as an amnesiac while the rest of his people moved on to look for a planet somewhere else. Now, it's worth noting that the Savage Dragon comic book has the record of being the longest running American color comic book with the same writer and artist, which was its creator, Eric Larson. And due to this, as well as the deep and dynamic character of Savage Dragon, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Savage Dragon a rating of 9, which is an epic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.